don't know, know, I don't know, know if all of this will work, but, but we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> it's fine. Fine. Remember, remember, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I, have I have the live, live stream going, going on YouTube, YouTube. just just because I thought that'd be fun. And, and I have the uh, iPad, iPad recording in, in case the YouTube live is a flop. <laughs> And, and then I have it on my phone so I can, so I can see the chat because, because I have my webcam strung clear across the room to my desktop. So, so anyways, that's, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right. So the plan had been for me to test out one of these first and see if it would work before I got excited and turned the camera on. And obviously that was a fail. <laughs> so I'm going to test it real quick. Hold on. Let's see if it works. Does it work? No. But I have two layers on it. We're going to try it anyways. What the heck? Plus these are huge needles. That's, that's a terrible example. Okay, so the plan. Y'all would like to know what we're doing, I'm sure. Okay, I want to make... All right, I watch cross-stitch videos. I don't I don't cross-stitch, <laughs> I'll say yet. <laughs> because... Hey! Hi, Melissa! Did you get on your bike today? We are making a needle minder, I hope. I saw this idea. All right, there you go. Um, I saw this idea. Well, it's not an idea. I completely stole it, sort of. I don't know. Anyways, I guess in the cross-stitch world, there are these um, magnetic needle holder things. And so I was watching cross floss tube, whatever. And this lady had decorated hers all pretty. And I thought, oh! I have those tins. I got my scissors in. So I'm going to make some. Marie! Hi, Marie! No promises. Melissa can attest to it. I'm a newbie. <laughs> yeah, they were these cute. Melissa, they were these cute little... Um, you know, they're they're cute you, little notion things. It's a it looks like a mirror, those old fashioned mirror compacts that had a mirror on both sides. I'll link it down below. Um, but uh, it was just two pieces of magnet in a in a cosmetic case looking thing, and I thought, oh, I can make that because I'm a crafter. <laughs> this could be a quick quick video because if I can't get it to stick. <laughs> <laughs> Plan B. Um, I I I told my husband last night, I said, I'm just gonna do embroidery. I'm not gonna get into cross stitch. I'm just gonna do embroidery. And um yeah, then th you know what'll happen, right? It will go from embroidery to oh, do all the things. In fact, speaking of that, I lost my label. But um, hold on, I gotta grab it off the printer. One second. Yeah, welcome to my stream. <laughs> There's only a tentative plan on this, so I no promises. But anyways, it's super cute, and if, if you're into fabric of any kind and you like like primitive or anything, look up Lori Holt and just drool. Because I want to be all things Lori Holt. I want my whole craft room to look like her sewing room. It's just oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hoping the plan is, is to have them stick to the magnet because that, that's always nice. Uh, if not, I'll have a pretty box for them to go into while I stick my fingers in there. And then I have these really ugly pur purple tweezers that I figured I won't lose because they're ugly purple that I'm hoping I can like use to reach in and grab the needle. I got to not look at the YouTube one. You guys are like a second behind me. 
<sighs> but okay, we're not we're we're see, this is what I've got to practice on is yammer and function. I tell that to my son all the time. Keep functioning because he stops when he talks. I love these haberdashery scissors from Tim Holtz. If you like Tim Holtz, his regular serrated scissors, you guys can hear me okay, right? Double check on the volume. Everybody can hear. I have no idea if I have top chat or live chat. No, the video, the chat seems to be right on, but from here, me to you, it's like a one second delay in the video. So, okay, sound is good. Good, good, good. Thank you. Get to riding. Come on, pedal, pedal. But anyways, if you like the Tim Holt scissors, you would love the haberdashery scissors. And I did meant to like become educated with that word, but I think it means it's for fabric and stuff. I think is what that means. Somebody can correct me. I'm sure. But um, I love them and I, they, I bought them to cut paper with, and then I got into sewing <laughs> sort of sewing, 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 sewing. Okay. Yep. Ooh, I have a weight vest somewhere. That's a good idea, too. Somewhere. I have all the things. I have the, the elastic, stretchy things, and I have the... <laughs> See, this is why I'm doing a different video to post on YouTube as a separate, because we'll have this whole conversation, and people will be like, what are they talking about? Because I just talk like you're sitting here, although you'd be stepping. You know. Oh no. Yeah. The only thing that goes underneath my bed is the Roomba. Cause if it goes under there, it will never come back. All right. I'm I'm just not even I'm see, can't function and talk. Okay, so the plan is I figured the these are those photo magnets sheets that you get, you know, they're like barely barely work magnets but hey it was cheap um i use them for my die cuts and stuff and i thought that um we could we coming over um that i could just line mm, see i'm i'm trying to do this on the winging line it with the magnet that i cover in tissue paper and that would still allow enough strength for the needles to stick. If not, I'll just do the black. But, you know, let's let's hope for pretty, right? Okay, so, and I wanna do layers because I have different, different needles that I want to store in this. Cause like the ones, that, the one that I saw, which don't buy it, I don't need it. I don't need it to stop. Um, yeah, right. Got to make it pretty. Melissa says, um, they're, they're little and you put, you're supposed to put like one size of needle per each thing. And I'm sure there's proper terminology and stuff. I have the, it's sharp and I can get thread through the eyeball part. Education in sewing. My grandma in heaven has to just be going, <laughs> Girl, all those quilts we made, you know nothing. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry, Grandma. I'm slow. That's okay. My grandpa does the same thing when it comes to all the gardening. I'm sure he's up there going, all those years, I tried to get you in the dirt. Um, I lined, okay, one side has already got sticky on it, but it's the non-magnetic side. I'm going to cover that with paper. This side was the magnet side that I'm covering with this ginormous monster thing. And um, it's going to work because otherwise it's going to be really embarrassing. Don't embarrass me. Hope it works because there it's not a great magnet, you know, and needles are all right. Hold on. We're going to make space. 
Oh, you know, this is all going to get lost, right? How do you have a five foot by five foot desk and no space? Oh, I was going to use dictionary pages out of this 1920s dictionary I got. Oh, it's so cool. I was using it to do art in. Um, I used to have a Facebook group called um, Dictionary Journal or Art Journalers and it's still going. Somebody else is running it now. I don't, I don't know who, but it had to go by the wayside. Let me show you my horse. You want to see my horse? Oh, see, there's all kinds of, where's the H? H. I'll show you my favorite picture. Maybe. Nope. Okay. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Anyways, it's not wide enough unless I turn the 10 sideways, which I guess I could, but I don't know now. I could, like, who rule? No rules. Um, but anyway, so I thought I could use some paper out of that because I probably will never get back to this project. Um, I don't know. I have a hard time taking old, old books apart. It took me forever to just write in it. Um, but I think I'll go with the tissue paper because I weaned out. Uh, and it's also a, th a thinner. So, ah! see? Things go everywhere. Okay, can't get it. Get out of there. It's forever in there forever. See, the tweezers worked great. All right. I'm an adult. I can do this. No, nah, I'm just nervous. Don't you guys get nervous when you do stuff, new stuff like that? I'm used to, like, editing everything. Um, so... <laughs> Okay, so let's see, is there like, it's all these kind of ads, but I don't think there's any um, sewing on it. And honestly, it probably doesn't need um, sewing on it. And honestly, it probably doesn't really matter. It's not readable. So, all right, I should have left one side of the sticker on it, but we're living dangerously here. Oh, I could do it this way. Let's do it this way since the 10 kind of goes that way. And I don't care if it gets a little wrinkly. <sighs> so I'm giving myself permission for it to be wrinkly. All right, here's the test. Give me a needle, a real needle. Oh, yay. It sticks. We're in business. I don't know if the big ones will, but who cares? Oh, yay. Okay. Okay. Now we got to. Wow, that's probably really loud. I'm sorry. So let's get that out of there so we're not crinkling. I feel like I should have some music on for you, Melissa. Like, you know, I, I don't know, something. I hope you have earphones on. There you go. Something to be a little more motivating than me. <laughs> All right. So on the front, I figured that I would do the... There you go. Yeah, see, I have, that's been the hardest part about going live is and just hanging out is that I normally have 
some kind of YouTube background noise on because it's my TV. Um, and it's usually something that I don't have to watch. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like Time Team is my favorite. I love Time Team. If you like history, British history, as in um, archaeology, that kind of stuff, that is the show for you. I'm obsessed. There's 220 episodes. I know them word for word. <laughs> okay. Oh, it turned it nice and dark, too. That's cool. I was kind of afraid my needles wouldn't show up on it. Um, but, yeah, that's... Let's, let's do a tester again. Okay. Yay! Yay! Okay, probably shouldn't flip it. All right, so I'm going to just do one of these because we'll, you probably, I mean, boring. Um, and then I'll just finish the rest later. But what I'm going to do is, okay, the, the guts came out of the can. And so I figured I would just trace around that. Oh, wait, I should do the back out so I can cut it all at one time. All right, this is a Tim Holtz paper. Um, I couldn't tell you what stack. It's probably older than I am. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the other hard part is you have to get room set up, right? You can't just leave it all over the place. But I don't, I don't know this stash busting it's really really old but it has all kinds of like household stuff on it so i thought mm, that'll work that would be perfection for this all right so we got one side now the other side already came pre pre sticky and um <laughs> yeah um so I don't have to. I don't have to do anything with that. So that's that's good. I'm not going to worry that that's crooked. I'm going to let it go. It's okay. Um, and then we're going to make it all distressy and all that. The other thing I want to do is cover the very bottom, but I'm kind of tunnel visioned here. So we'll do this first. Okay. Stitch all the things, peeps. I have so many ideas now that I want to do in my journals and my paper crafting that I want to add sewing to. I did some really ugly embroidery, <laughs> but I'm learning. <laughs> I was like going around to the guys telling them, look what I did, look what I did. And they're all like, that's nice. <laughs> they love me. <laughs> okay, so like I said, it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to go around the edge. And I don't know if a pe pencil will show up. Let's try it on this side. So I don't rip the, the thing. I should probably do my... Nope, we're just going to go right in the middle. Nope, I lied. Let's use a side, right? Okay, it doesn't matter which side. That's because your husband's like mine and he knows where how to get in the house if he says something wrong or um, doesn't, he would like food, you know, or clean clothes, etc. No, mine's just shocked I'm sewing. 
Did I miss the whole thing? No, I didn't. It's there. Okay. I ordered, because I'm old and blind, I ordered a magnifying glass so I can leave my dang glasses on while I work up close, which would be great considering the chat is close. <laughs> I tried to get the chat up on my iPad, but for some reason the app on my iPad doesn't have the chat on it, which is so weird. I don't know. All this stuff is so new to me. I told Dale, I said, I am apparently lonely. <laughs> so I'm off to pester strangers. And his basic attitude was, that's nice, dear. And somewhere in there, I'm sure the words, thank goodness it's not me. <laughs> Yeah, see, I don't, the Kindle is the same way with me. I'm like, I, it, just make it work. <laughs> Why does it have to be complicated? All right. So I need a piece of washi because, you know, I'll stick this in there and then I won't be able to get it back out. So I'm going to be smart. That paper's so cute. Not cute, just cool. Okay. So it comes, I need to make it a little narrower because I want them to come in and out. These are going to come in and out. So hold on, I got to turn around. have one of those big mambo jumbo cutters on the table right behind me the cat caterpillars way overpriced but it is a wonderful cutter oh see perfection oh wait am i even on the <laughs> you are like um you're not on the screen okay see i wanted it to come in and out because what i'm gonna have is different sheets for different kinds of needles because this is like an inch thick so I'm thinking there'll be enough room to do that that's my thought that's my thinking Lincoln Marie are you working on anything today you just hanging out All right, done. Now, to, in order to get it to go, be able to grab it, I got these, again, they're from my stash. I have no idea where they, they came from, um, but they're little rulers. And I thought that would be, I could grab it. I can grab them easily. So I'm going to put a hole in the corner and hook the little ruler to it. Oh, I had, I got a 12 by 12 jelly pr pr plate plate, right? Um, so I could do backgrounds in my Fobonichi and I need to, I need to, I need to do that. Um, Plus, I just need to use it. I had to buy it because, hello. All right, I have the We Are Memory Keepers 1 16th punchy thing. And I have some oval jump rings. I got to make sure I don't go too far. Well, I actually just wanted the 8.5 by 11 or whatever, but... My book is, hold on, I can't talk and walk. My book is over 12 inches wide. So I was like, ah. what I need to do is I need to cut it. I know. Ah! 
but I, it really is too big for what I need. Plus, I figured if I cut the top off, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that'd be four inches. If I cut the top four inches off, that would give me like a little jelly plate, two or three, maybe three inches. And I might use the little one more often. How do I get this open? Oh, I'm not prepared, you guys. I don't have pliers. All right. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. One sec. Hold on. Oh no, I don't know where my other ones went. Can I do it one-handed? I just need a little gap. Come on. No. All right, don't panic. They've got to be here, right? I had them on my sewing machine, which is sitting right here. Hold on. Can you tell I'm like five feet from my garage? Eight by 10 because I cut my old one up into three pieces. So what do you like better? Do you like the bigger jelly plate or the smaller one? Or do you like, both? I mean, you, you feel like, hey, we need, we need both. Cause <laughs> I can do that. Man, talk about taking big tools to a small party. I should have edged this first. Edge it first. Distress oxide inks. Oops. Yeah, because that's I'm trying to be brave and I'm trying to cut that one up because why I haven't used it is it's so big that I just don't, I don't know what I would do with it that big. Do you guys, how do you store your uh, sponges? That's how I store mine. One of those things. Harbor Freight, buck something. Alrighty. Yeah. I hear you. I don't do any 12 by 12 projects. So it was like, but I am sure that I've had it for a long time. I just haven't used it that, um, I got a super duper deal on it, which is probably why I bought it in the first place. So this might jiggle. Sorry if it does, I'll be quick. I need to watch some jelly printing videos. I have all the stuff. I mean, this is what I do. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this. And then I buy all the things. And then I go, okay, well, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do, I'll do it someday. There we go. Do both sides here.
So do you use it in like a journal or you make tags and stuff with it? All right. that's my biggest thing is I don't really know what to do with it. I, I used it once for using distress oxides and stuff on my background. Oh no, that that's bad. Where's my little ruler? Hold on. It was so thin it didn't work. Yeah. No, I got the same. I think I have the same one that you're, you have that you like. The, the actual real jelly plate thing. I can't think of the, the brand or whatever, but... All right. Let's see if it worked. Okay, yeah, so my thought is, is that I can just grab it by the little ruler and take it out. Yeah, I should have put it in the middle. <laughs> ah! Go me, go me. Thinking ahead, not. Well, my thought was, is that I want to have four of these, and so I'd have one in each corner. But I could have done one in each side, and that would have been smarter, but... You know, whatever. <laughs> All right. So it's been 30 minutes. Do we keep going? Do you want to hang out some more while I do some more on this? Or are y'all like, okay, this is not good. I'm so proud of you, Melissa. You go, girl. Scavenger hunt challenge. What? Oh, do tell. I like scavenger hunts. I'm trying to make up my mind. Do it. Scavenger hunt. I'm assuming it's a craft art thing. Look at you go. These my husband works. So yeah, and and you're probably like me. It, it, nobody can be around because. Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sounds like fun. Scavenger hunt. I don't have a lot to scavenge anymore, but I'm always up for a challenge. I was doing the Roxy... Roxy's weekly challenge, but it, it kind of took a turn for the mass production and uh, <laughs> Yeah, husband can't be around when you're working out or when you're talking to friends or for me when I'm videoing. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I should have put the sticky stuff on this. Oh, well. Wow. 
but yeah, I was doing the Roxy Roxy's weekly challenge and it started out really fun, but I don't mass produce any, anything. And so now she's doing a whole bunch of covers and stuff. And I just, I don't have a use for that. So I had to stop, but when she comes back with other things, I'll probably be back in it. Where did my, I was going to say you should see my desk, but you can. Yeah, that'll work. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Yeah, no kidding. I don't want commentary and I don't want an audience when I'm doing things like that. Mostly because I'm usually whining to myself because I don't want to do it. So, but yeah, it's like my son is here. But he has his gaming headphones on and he hears nothing unless it's dinner. So I don't know. It's not weird to talk in front of him for some reason. I think homeschooling is why. Because we homeschooled his whole life. And so I'm just used to him being background noise. I almost needed to go darker on that, but I didn't want to edge it too much. Like, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, let's tape. Should we mambo jumbo tape it? Yeah, let's do it. Somebody goes, oh my goodness, you talk like you do on your regular videos. <laughs> there's there's no different me. This is, there. yeah, it's me, and then there's me, and then there's video me. Which is all me. I don't know. Although, I do, I am trying to get better at watching my P's and Q's. Because... Some lady was offended. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I was that good. <laughs> well, I think it's because I just, you know, when I started years and years ago doing this stuff, I'd run into people in the craft store and they're like, are you mouse potato designs? And I'd be like, Oh gosh, creepy. Why? You're just like, I thought you'd be. I want to be that person that you meet for the first time and you've known each other all of your life. So even if I don't know you, you are my new best friend. Don't worry. I'm not a stalker, but that's how I treat everybody. Is as soon as we're we've met, we are friends. Period. Okay, so I got I got the there's a little it it divots in how perfect, right? Measuring tapes, right? Uh it divots in. Um, I don't think that's gonna matter. So we're sticking it down, you guys. This is usually the one reason I want to do the lives is because I am a procrastinator person. I plan everything out and I do it very, very carefully so that it's all ready to go. And then I let it set and simmer and see if the flavors come out in the craft before I do it. Because what if I'm wrong and I wanted to do something else or something else? No, get in there. Listen on TV here. Um, and so I'm always afraid to, you know, just glue it down because what if, and I need to stop that because what if happens and then nothing happens <laughs> and it sits there for 20 years. <laughs> there, Ta -da! this, these scissors took me a month and a half to get from tonic. That was a whole drama thing. And now the little window has a scratch in it and it came that way, but I'm going to ignore it. And so are you. But thank you, Marie. I'm sure it showed up probably not on my phone, but it's thank you. I will look into it. Um, 
Okay, so bottom layer is in. One card is done. It's not real exciting, but I mean, I'm hoping that this is this is going to work this way. Um, all right. The other part of this is I thought that this comes apart. There's this foam in here that uh, comes apart. It did on the other one. Where did it go? Is this one coming? This one I pulled apart. And so what I thought I could do was on this little piece here, cut a piece of foam. Yes, and I won't order from them again. And now they spam me with a bazillion coupons that are not good coupons, really. And yeah, I do love the scissors, though. And I have to admit, Tonic makes some awesome tools. But oh, their customer service. Seriously. So I was going to use this side, but it's too thick. So what I thought was, is that I could take this and fit it in just this bottom part, right, right? And then like if I have a needle that I don't wanna unthread or whatever, I could just stick it in the foam. Or while I'm working, I could just stick it in the foam. Totally stupid idea, right? We're gonna do it. But yeah, that's why I started, who I hope you guys can keep up with the squirrels. That's why I started doing this because um, I wanted to get over myself and be a participant in life. All right, let's see. I bought one of these because Angela Kerr here on YouTube uses it and I want to be like her when I grow up. So if she has it, I had to buy it. <laughs> Gosh, she's good. Mad shabby chic skills. Okay, line this up because if you cut it off crooked, you're going to be mad. I know. You're looking at me with this blade in my face. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ta -da! But yeah, I love her stuff. Love, love it. I want to channel her, but all of her stuff is pretty much. And I don't know about you guys, but since COVID hit, I getting ink is a job. I can't imagine, and it's expensive. I can't imagine what it costs her to print all that stuff out. I do love the digital though, but. See, now we gotta get a bunch of us doing this so that I'm not the lone weirdo out here. Okay. I probably could have covered that with some material. I found out that Tim Holtz has material and I didn't know that. So I was like, oh, I have to get that. And I went to look to get it and woo, he's very proud of that material. But if I ever come up with a cool project I should have rounded those corners. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I'm over it. Let's see if this completely flops. I have another 10 and I can just do that. All right, back to the... Yeah, see, I figured when I was, like, sewing, I could... <laughs> Water... You can... Oh, so the laser is water waterproof? It won't run? 
I've been printing on black and white with my laser, then watercolor. So, because I could, my husband has a laser printer at work. I've been using it for deco foiling. I shouldn't say I should be using it. I, I, one time, because I always forget he's got it. And see, if I was being really cool, I could have gone all the way around, huh? Oh, please, that's too much. I'll never get it done if I keep doing that. Okay, so I have the basics done. I didn't know it was waterproof. That just opened a whole new world. Okay, so this would go in here like that. My little knee pin cushiony thing goes there. And I could change that to something else if I... Find, find something else. Oh, it still shuts. That's good. <laughs> Probably should have tested that first. Um, okay, I want to do a label here. Out of something. I just need a background because what I've got is I printed out a label. My internet has been awful. They, they raised our internet bill like $8 a month. And since then, it's terrible. So if it's lagging, I apologize. But there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing. Oh, see, I'm going to have to try that now. Because I have like a bazillion line art things. Trying to find something appropriate here. Men's cologne is probably not it. How about the little bag? Here. That cigar. Oh, wait, there's a little purse there. Let's do the bag. <laughs> no, I can't. You want to know why? They're a monopoly here. They are the only cable bill cable company we have in our area. And um, their basic responses is good luck. You don't like it. You're welcome to try somebody else. And <laughs> there is nobody else <laughs> or I would have been gone years ago. So, yeah. Well, I think what they did is they, Add it. They've got so many people adding on. They're not adding any lines. Yeah, and it's it's just they've got me by the proverbial feet because um, yeah. All right, so we're going to do a test fit here <laughs> because I don't want to screw it up. All right, so my thinking is is that I could take my pencil and find the edge and kind of yeah yeah i find it awfully mysterious that mine goes like you can tell Oh, look, it's Friday, or, you know, it's it's five o'clock. Poof, all of a sudden the internet goes from doing not so bad to gone, non-existent. They're like, well, you need to upgrade your router. I have the most expensive router in the world, the most expensive modem in the world. It's not that. We have too many computers on it. No, it's not that. It's called You Suck. And I'd say it's just me, but... If you read like their feedback and their <laughs> their Facebook page and all of that kind of stuff, yeah, nope, not just me. So yeah, the general consistence consensus ugh, English is tough. You have no choice. There. 
Okay, what I didn't know what I was going to find was is that it's kind of creepy. There's like six people watching, and I only know two. I don't know who the other four are, but hi, other four. Thank you for watching. I hope you're not bored stiff. Where did my... Oh, seriously. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you're just a captive audience. Oh, I hope it's going to fit. I should have done that a little smaller, but that's okay. That's okay. Don't cut your fingers. Don't cut your fingers. I don't know. We're kind of at the mercy of everything, aren't we? We're like cell phone company, cable company. The only way to take your power back is to get off the internet or the cell phone and like, no. <laughs> they know that's not going to happen. Okay, so we're cut part of the word off, but you know what? We're going to just go with it. It's all right. Nobody's here to even read it. I could have left it Tim Holtz and nobody would care. I know, and I don't text or call. <laughs> Anybody, except for my husband <laughs> or my son when he's in the other room. I'm like, come out and do the dishes. I, I'm not good on talking on the phone. Um, I'm not really good at small talk at all. It intimidates me. I'm like, so how are you? How's the weather? Please ask me a question so I have something to talk about. <laughs> Nothing like laying all your insecurities out there. Okay, so I'm not going to fix this on here. The reason I'm not going to is that off camera, I'm going to go spray that with matte, Krylon matte finish uh, so that it doesn't smear later. No, oh, no. <laughs> go, mom. Yeah, I just upgraded my Mac and all the software is like a little, little, little difference. You know, they have to make it better. And so I'm like looking for my standard programs and they had changed all the icons. And I'm like, why, why? Okay, so I don't know. We'll try this. I have to pick a camera here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if any brilliant person out there can figure out how to auto set the autofocus on an iPad for live streaming, I will forever be in your debt, but it won't let me lock it because this camera is not as great. I know. 
that's when I call the cable company. I'm like that. I'm like, listen, I've already rebooted. I've already restarted. I've already unplugged. I've already changed the passwords. I've already done the, the thing. Can we jump past the standard spiel and just right into the fix it? All right. All right. Well, that was, that was basically, basically my, my plan is this. So, um, do we, do we want to keep going or are we just done? Ooh, see the focus took off on that. Oh gosh. Tell me it hasn't been doing that the whole time. You guys. See you later, Marie. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. I'm about out too. I got about five more minutes. Enjoy your jelly plate. Have fun. I want to see what you're doing. All right, you guys. I think I'm going to be out too. Melissa, you done on your bike? <laughs> Okay, I'll look for that. Yay! See? Perfect! Thanks so much for being here, Melissa. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next live. I don't know when. It's about this time is probably what, what it is. People want me to do evening ones, but the husband, you know. <laughs> <sighs> I will see you later. Bye.